this video today, we're gonna to talk about what is the best training split for you to be doing in order to build muscle. And please, let me know down below what training split you're currently doing and what training split you have found you have made the most progress with. I'm genuinely just interested on what most people are doing nowadays. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is what makes a training split the right one for you. And this is based around three factors. One, your goals. Two, your lifestyle. And three, what you enjoy. If you don't enjoy it, you're not gonna be consistent, you're not gonna reap the rewards from your training, it's that simple. So make sure before you pick any of what I'm about to state, you think about them three things first. So moving on to the split that you may wanna do if you're doing two or three days of training. For people who are maybe just starting out, got other sports that they wanna be doing, but only can really fit in two or three days into their busy lifestyle because they have other commitments. The best split that you're probably gonna to wanna to be doing is a full body. Split. Reason being is one, it's going to be the best for using frequency in your training. Two, if you don't make it to the gym three times and you only make it twice, guess what? You still train the whole of your body. And the other one is always a big bonus, right? You, for someone who's a beginner who may just like or don't see value in all of the areas of the body, for example, lads, I know that you like to skip legs. Doing a full body can be probably the best way for you to adhere to training. What I mean by that is if you do a little bit of legs a day, you probably won't hate it as much. Your legs are not gonna be so sore you can't walk for a few days and you'll adhere to training better. Now, another reason a full body is gonna be useful if you're a beginner is because you would fatigue quickly. And by the fact that all you simply do one or two exercises on each body part, you are very much gonna find that you aren't gonna be overly fatigued. Your body's not gonna to feel too sore to be able to go and carry out the other tasks you have in your life or play that sport that you need to practice for as well. And from my experience of training people and from just using it myself, I've seen far more, I would say gains and growth from doing a full body due to the simple fact that the volume is just spread out better and it's a lot better in terms of how can you progressively overload by the fact you don't get too fatigued. Now, if we moved our training up to maybe something like four days, this is where we've maybe got a few more options. One, you can just move up to a four day full body. Just add on an extra session. The other one is gonna be an upper lower split. Yeah, two days of lower body, two days of upper body. Pretty damn simple, right? Then the other option you got is a bit of an in-between of both, and that would be a push-pull split. Now, this is one of my personal favorites, right? Because it feels like full body, even though you have got a bit of a separation, from the fact you're doing push and pull. So on push day, you are gonna work the whole front of your body. Chest, shoulders, triceps, as well as your quads. Pull is pretty simple. It's the back of your body, your back, your hamstrings, your glutes, most pull movements. Now, most people haven't heard of that, that's why I explained it in a bit more detail, but it's one that I've always found super useful and I've currently been training it a lot myself recently uh, and I really do enjoy it. If you're looking to increase leg volume, and you're focusing on leg gains, upper low is gonna be the best one for you because you will have the most lower body volume, okay? You'll be doing more sets on your legs than really any other split due to the fact you're doing two whole days on your leg. You're probably gonna see the most growth in your legs with that split. Now, if you're wanting to put more volume into the upper body, I would probably say to you go full body. Due to the fact you probably only do like two leg exercises a day, you're only not gonna really do as much volume with that split, but you are gonna do way more volume probably on your upper body due to the fact you're gonna literally hit each muscle group every day and do that four times. Push pull is easily a bit more of an in-between with that one. You've got sort of the options, you can do three leg exercises on a push and a pull, and there you can balance out the volumes in between. But you've got options, and at the end of the day, I would go with whichever one moves more towards your goals and you're more likely to enjoy. Simple. Now let's talk about if you're moving up to let's say five days, right? Not many people need to actually train five days. If you're a bodybuilder, if your life is solely about your physique, then maybe five days is in there for you. I used to train five days. I don't as much anymore due to the fact that I take part in other sports and I don't have the energy or recovery. But it's hard. It requires a lot of energy. You've got a few spits that you can simply do. One, push all legs up or lower. Super effective, keeps two leg days in there. You know, you're gonna probably spread your volume out pretty well. If you're biasing a bit more towards the upper body, push all legs, push pull. You know, it can be very useful. The, another one that I would say again, you can use is a full body. You know, if you wanna just move up to five days, what I would say is as you get more advanced, as you start training for years, you know, it becomes harder to, to make the gains and to improve. Frequency of hitting muscles and training is gonna become your best friend. One of the easiest ways that you can get more out of your volume 
is increasing the frequency because a lot of the time, you know, a lot of our sets are done under fatigue and what full body does is stops that happening due to the fact that you're only training it one time. In that one session, you're gonna go into a movement fresh, you're more likely to progress the overload, you're more likely to get stronger, you're more likely to build muscle. However, I don't want to bias full body too much as a lot of bodybuilders, as I said though, they are bodybuilders, they literally live for just building their physique, they have brilliant recovery, a lot of them enhanced recovery too, and they use push-pull, you know, upper-lower or push-pull legs, and they do it successfully. But the thing that I would just always take into account, and something that I have seen massively as I've coached people over the years, is there are a lot of people who aren't even intermediate lifters, coming from beginner and thinking they can walk in a gym and start doing push-pull legs. You have to build your body up to that much volume. Otherwise, you're gonna be overtired, you're not gonna be able to recover, you're not really gonna be focusing on training efficiency because you're constantly drained and you're probably gonna get injured. But more importantly, you're not gonna be consistent due to the, all of the factors below. If you are in your first year or two of training, please do not start with a push-pull legs, you know, twice a week, doing six days a week because odds are it's not gonna last. Now, one of the last things I wanted to touch on is something I haven't spoken about, but it's still very popular and that is the bro split. I am not that much of a fan of the bro split. For your beginners, it, it can be perfect because you'll probably reap the most rewards from it. As you get more advanced with your lifting, as I said, frequency is gonna become your friend. It's probably not gonna be as effective as it could be, you know, due to that fatigue ratio. And so this is why I would say to most people, don't bother doing a bro split. It's a bit outdated. There are far more things that you can be effective, far more things, far more splits that you can be effective with that are really gonna help you get the most out of your training. And for the other people that are gonna be like, what about the Arnold split? What about all these other splits that a lot of bodybuilders use? If you're living in the gym five or six days a week and that is your sole life, to be honest, no matter what you do, you're probably gonna get the most out of your training. But for a lot of people who are doing certain amount of days and got other things in their life, which is where they've gotta be thinking about how can I be more effective? And that's when I would move away and look at what splits I've literally stated just before. Thanks again for watching another video. I hope it delivered. I hope you have a greater understanding now of what's really important when it comes to picking your training split, looking at really what the options are in terms of being effective. If you do like this video, make sure you drop it a like. And if you want to see more videos from me, make sure you subscribe as, you know, it really does help me out. You know, I'm, I'm enjoying doing this longer form content. I can't wait to do more videos and just give you more information and more of the details that I find hard to include when I'm doing short form content all the time. So thank you very much once again. And remember, with your training split, don't be a dick.